Welcome to Sunset. Now, there's a lot about this map, right? It's it's pretty, it's, it's based in LA, and there's even a lot of stuff going on outside the map, but I don't want to confuse you guys. So instead, let's start on attacker's side spawn. In the top left, you can see the map. I actually have it fixed. This is how the map looks. It will remain fixed. So the entire time I'm talking and showing you around the map, I'll also be discovering. It's my first time on the map properly, and we'll be able to see everything in the top left hand side. This is attacker spawn. The first thing we're going to do is is we're gonna head over to the left towards B. As you head into this area, this is called B Lobby. There's this little uh, trash can instead of a box. You cannot get on top of it normally. Of course, with the updraft, you can. Now there's only one updraft, lol. Um, this can be hit through on the corner, but not down the center. You can see here, quite flat, quite basic, and you move forward here. There's a little bit of a concave area in this corner. You can see it right here. This is still all B Lobby. All right, we're gonna take the longest route to site. This area is called B Main. So this is our B Main. And as you can see, it's very simple. And that's a trend you're gonna understand on this map, simplicity. This map is filled with simplicity. Of course, you can get up onto here. And oh my God, you can, it's not gonna to take too much to understand that there's gonna be a ton of different sight lines, but they're nice because they're all basic. Excuse the basic crosshair. This is just the default on the account. You can see here, it's actually quite deep. This is the orb right there, but still simplicity. What am I saying? Simplicity. You got this area around here. Similar idea. Very simple. We're talking about open areas, stairs to change elevation, and then quite basic corners. This is good. This is very CS inspired in the sense of how simple it is. There is, of course, a uh, window here. You can shoot through or you can throw stuff through. I mean, I don't think that requires too much thought. You guys understand what I'm trying to say. You can get it through there. Okay. This is your B main. Perfect. Perfect. This is a closed window. You can not get through that. You come out and now you're onto site. This is B site. It's still a large map. It's simple, but it's large, right? This is the sight line and you've got a lot of playroom here. This is, this is more than usual in Valorant maps. It's actually very, very big. That's the size of one jet smoke. It still doesn't even touch sight. All right, this is the very corner. Again, if you're confused, make sure you're paying attention to the top left. It keeps things a little bit simpler. This is all a site. You can plant here all around to, <laughs> it's actually massive, dude. It's so big to here with just a cutoff like that. Like it, it's, it's really big. You can either plant in this little corner. You can jump up. This is the back of site. But again, it's also very simple. Let's fly up just so it's a little easier to see. It's very simple. It's literally just a square. It's just a big ass square. There's some elevated areas and more windows. You're gonna notice these windows around the map. We're gonna look at the other side shortly. And there's also a lot of these boxes that are like just out of jump reach, but they're all boostable, right? You can easily get boosted on this without even thinking about it. But they're like just out of normal jump reach, which is a little bit interesting, but they're not the full height. You can tell they're one and a half. They're one and a half. Okay, perfect. Now, we're not going to keep pushing. Instead, we're going to backtrack our steps here. And instead of pushing the longest way, we're going to now push this way. All right, we're the attackers. We're deciding to push this way. You got this area to clear. You can actually jump up on this one. Super weird jumps, man. Like, it's like not the normal jump. You can tell it's like the max height that an agent can jump. You can see about, by how it's kind of glitching us up there, which is super weird. There's just a bunch of odd angles. Even this, right? Like it's, it's, it's triangled. Tri tri I can't English. It's, it's a little bit changed, right? So you can kind of peek at the top or you can tuck here. Very, very different. This is another window out from here. So you can kind of like push here. Sova dart into there for info. It's going to be very easy to get it back back site as you continue to push here or back lobby sorry as you continue to push here okay you keep pushing into here this is mid bottom and this is our mid area i know it's still a little bit confusing as we enter mid you got these basic boxes here this is wall bangable you got more concave you can see valent learning right this is a lot like instead of having hard angles they've learned that soft angles are better and they're already implementing them right you don't got to clear nearly as much okay as you enter mid, you got this little area, very kind of breeze-like, but on a mini scale. S same idea, by the way. Boostable from here, but you can't quite make it. Or you can like updraft to the top. If you only get here, you can't jump up, but you get an interesting angle, right? Like these lead to really interesting angles, which is super cool, which is super, super cool. Let's hover over. This is your mid area in general, coming in from mid bottom. Now, what we're going to do is try to keep it simple. 
and try to uh, find a familiar a familiar face, which is back to B site. When you enter B site, you actually enter it through B market. And this is this site we just saw here. That's where we planted. This is the window I was talking about. We've now connected it. Ta-da! Nice and easy. This is B market. Okay. Now, of course, you noticed the switch. I do not know why the leak said there's no gimmicks. There is a gimmick. There's no new gimmicks, I suppose. But you've got a switch that most people know how it works. The switch only goes on one side. There's none on the other side. Easy peasy. This is very familiar to most of us here. Now, what we're going to do is if you wrapped around here, you get, you're still into B market, by the way. This is all B market. And then this is called B Boba. <laughs> B Boba. Dream bubble. Nice. Now, this has quite an interesting angle. Because if you were on B site and you wanted to push B Boba, you got a hard angle here. And then you got this big wall angle towards the spawn, enemy spawn, as well as the wraparound here. But then you got all three angles here, right? Someone could be here. Someone could hold you here or even tuck quickly to be hidden and then popped up here. Like this is a dangerous angle to push. Like pushing from here is going to be dangerous, like it or not. Besides just having one hard angle immediately, you're going to have a ton. Now wait for the uh, sunset rework. They're going to remove this, I bet you. But yeah, that, that's that's the entire thing here. Okie dokie. Now what we're going to do is backtrack all the way through here. Do, 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 do. And now we're back at spawn. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to push towards A. A has one giant area. Again, very wide open, very wide open map, a lot of high rooftops here. And then you enter A lobby instead of B lobby. Makes a ton of sense. Now A lobby immediately connects through here, which is mid tiles. Wonder why it's called tiles. And if you were to head back through here, you're going to end up bit mid bottom. All right. You, you guys remember, you enter through here. That's how we, I first showed you mid. There's also a tiles that tiles connects to a lobby nice and easy now from mid tiles if you were to fight or contest it another rat angle not loving this but it is what it is another rat angle here you'd come back into mid and that's where this thing goes which i showed you from here <laughs> i hope i'm explaining okay i'm trying my best i'm trying my best all right but let's not push mid instead of using mid tiles we're going to use the uh, a lobby route onto a you get two entrances and another orb right there. First has Radiant boxes. You can jump up on there. Perfect. Or you can enter through here. And that's going to expose A site. Now, A site looks like a ton of fun. I'm not going to lie to you. You have a ton of battle uh, battle area on both. <laughs> battle area? What am I saying? A lot of shootout area here between both sides. Or, of course, if you cut through here. Another Radiant Night box, hard angle, but at least it's spammable, and you can plant anywhere here. Now, the plantable area is very, very open. You can either um, plant in front of this little crate or behind this crate. Um, it's kind of basic, to be honest, actually. Is there really anything to explain? It's, it's very straightforward. This, I would hope you guys put two and two together already. That's if you went this way instead. You have a hard angle here. You have double boxes here. Bro, I like that filthy. God damn, bro. All right. You have a double boxes here. Another. Oh my God. There's so many hard angles. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is also my first time. This is a one take first time seeing this map. I am just, I am showcasing it as I learn it. Not going to lie to you guys. But anyways, that's your wrap around here. Like I said, so you go through here. Sorry for the lag through here, through here, back on uh, a lobby and back in the entrance. And that's about it. Of course. If you were to plant here and take a lot of space, this is all spammable. Any Radiant Night box is going to be spammable. Easy peasy. All right. Now, we're going to head back this way. And we've done this way. And this is kind of your whole wraparound for the attacker side. Now, what I'm going to do is properly swap team and phase. But before we continue, you can look at the map. Those are the barriers. All right. So let's Race make this quick. Sides. Barrier here. Barrier here. And of course, I assume you can see them up there on the map is the red barriers. Barrier here. Barrier here. And on the flip side, will it let me see it? Barrier here. I don't recall if they'll let me see the red barrier on the wrong team. It does. Okay. Barrier here. Barrier up there, by the way. That's the one on the map that looks confusing. Barrier here. 
And finally, if you're going to be pushing here, barrier on all three. I think this is pretty straightforward. That's the barrier on window. This, this is this is this is exactly what you'd expect. That's the truth. This is exactly what you'd expect. But let's see how it looks like from the defender side. Obviously, this looks insane. Like, can you throw guns down? Oh, don't do that. Um, it's just this map's design, dude. Look at this thing. It's actually insane. Okay. You're a defender. You want to go set up defense on B. You have a lot of options. If you're taking the furthest right route, we're back in this area, which again, we already explored. And just like that, you're on B site. Nice and simple. This half is always easier to explain because you've already seen a lot of it. Instead, you want to cut through here. You're going to go mid top. Mid top will get you on top of mid. I mean, that's pretty straightforward. You have this... um. Cover, I suppose? This one's kind of a joke. Because, like, <laughs> like no offense, but, like, who's gonna... Like, I guess, I guess, maybe. Am I dumb? Maybe I'm just boosted, bro. I'm not a high ranker. But, like, like, what are you... If someone swings you here and starts shooting, what are you gonna do? Like, this is... This is some dinky cover, bro. This is some dinky cover. Anyways, it is what it is. That's an angle you can play. Of course, most people are probably gonna play it like this. But on this side, you actually can't fully cover. Your gun would be exposed from that angle. So actually not really the best defense angle for defenders. Not gonna lie. You can push downstairs here. You cannot get up here, by the way. You like maybe with jet. I can probably do it with jet, but in general, you know, you're not gonna be able to get up there without an updraft or just what I did there, which is jets passive. And from up here, you have some pretty fun angles. Not gonna lie. This, 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 like that's, that's pretty fun, right? I, I like this. This is pretty cool. And then of course you have these. So pretty, pretty straightforward. Not too much. You guys have already seen mid. If we were to reset through this area and we want to defend A instead, same idea. A link into A top or mid top, sorry. This area is pretty straightforward. Just got the staircases dividing those two. Spammable box. And then the A site, which we've already seen, right? It's connecting back from this side and to this side. That's about it. When you're defending, uh, again, not too much to really hold. You can try, let's say, that. I don't think I can get it on any... I can get on this box, I'm pretty sure. Yep, I can get on this box. All right, if we're gonna be dashing earth real quick, you know, something like that. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Overall, still pretty basic. Or, of course, if you take the long way, which is down this area called um, A Alley. That's what this one's called. Not too much going on in A Alley. Either the uh, people who planned might try to take space here by doing this. Or, of course, retakes. Retakes, man. Retakes can be something. Luckily, this is spammable, which is really good. Uh, it would be hard. It would be. It would suck if this is a hard corner, but at least it's spammable. And the retakes on A are going to be something else. Wow. Now that I look at it, it's just so wide. Everything's so wide. But honestly, it's going to be fun. It's going to be very fun for gunfights. And anyways, that's how you defend on A site. Hopefully that makes sense. I don't think the map is actually overly complicated. I think it's quite simple and straightforward. Of course, there's always these little knickknacks. You can see it's well, a very well-designed map. Uh, very different lighting as it is during the sunset, hence the name. A um, lot of detail going on. Got the American muscle over here. Um... Some basic cars. Damn, bro. No, no shot they park like this in LA. Yeah, damn. All right. But yeah, you, you get the idea. You got the basketball court. You got the culture. The, the, they've, they've got it all. They've got it all. You got the taco stand. You got a ton of graffiti art. I really rate it. Um, <laughs> you have uh, the market areas, which look really, really, really cool here. You've got the... Uh, is that a scuttle bus? That's the scuttle bus here. Scuttle grub, my bad. You got more stands here. This entire area is open. Like, ton of design going on. Of course, I am. There's going to be a ton of content creators who are going to show you every nook and cranny of this when it comes to little Easter eggs and whatnot. But I hope this gives you an overall idea and design of the map. And I hope I explained it in what, like 15 minutes? I don't even know if I'm going to cut anything here. I don't think it's worth cutting. I think it's just leaving it good, leaving it raw is good. That's weird. Anyways, bye.